New at 10, trash, drug baggies, weeds growing, and brick piles. It's supposed to be a place for kids to play, but this stall construction project has become a neighborhood blight. Charlie DeMar getting some answers on what's the holdup. This may look like a nature preserve. It's not. This is what months of neglect looks like at Chicago Seward Park on the near north side. They ended up starting a project which they didn't have the scope uh, what it took to actually finish the project. EJ Karsten lives near the park and teaches pickleball lessons on the courts. Construction fencing has sidelined him and anyone else who wants to use the public courts. The basketball rims aren't even attached to the backboards. And that's got to be frustrating for you. Very much so. And this project has not allowed for the community to be able to use those basketball courts. In 2018, the Chicago Park District secured $4 million for improvements to the park. Upgrades to the field house windows, roof and concrete among the repairs. But a hammer hasn't been lifted in months. Supplies for the project just sits there. The city says they found more serious damage and needed time to secure proper permits. It's unacceptable. Number one, if there was no progress being made on the park, the park could have been open the entire summer. Maria Scandariato also lives nearby. She's frustrated that the seemingly abandoned construction site has locked her and the rest of the community out while welcoming others in. What's happening with the increased um, number of homeless people who are, who are occupying the park? Like, what, what, how are we addressing their safety and security? It's been a hangout because there's so many places you can hide around the fencing. Tonight, as CBS2 photographer Scott Placco flew a drone over the park, a pile of trash is visible leading up to the field house. That's when he spotted a woman on the steps slumped over. We called paramedics. The woman was checked out and refused medical attention. Where are kids going to hang out? Where are they going to play? Mm. Well, a spokesperson for the Park District tells Charlie the new permits have been secured. Contractors are being remobilized and should start sometime in the next few weeks. However, the project isn't expected to be completed until spring 2022.